Right now, an eight-year-old child was found dead in a home outside of Janesville. We bring you the latest out of this development story. Plus, we hear from a political science professor who explains what both President Biden and former President Trump have to watch out for. And hear the story of an activist's work on how they ended up on tonight's Academy Awards. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Today in Rock County, the Sheriff's Office reported finding an eight-year-old child dead. The child was found around 6 p.m. on Saturday in a home on the 5500 block of West Miles Road outside of Janesville. The Rock County crime scene was at the home today continuing their investigation. The Sheriff's Office says one person of interest is in custody and there is no current threat to the public. Rock County Captain Caleb Bouton told us there will likely be more information available tomorrow. We'll continue to keep you updated online and on air as we gather more information. And now let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy. Thank you so much, Jalen. Yeah, we had abundant sunshine here across southern Wisconsin. Temperatures were actually warmer today than they were yesterday. But take a look behind me at the beautiful Capitol sky shot right now. We are sitting at 32 degrees with calm winds, 64% relative humidity, current temperatures across Dane County, 32 in Madison, 33 in Mount Horeb, 34 in Belleville. And as we expand the view out and take a look at the rest of southern Wisconsin, 34 in Boscobel, 37 in Janesville and 32 in Waukesha. I want to show the wind speeds because right now they are calm. But as we move on into your Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, these winds will increase. So enjoy the calm conditions right now because it could be a little bit windier as we head on into your Monday and Tuesday. Planning your overnight tonight into your day tomorrow. Look for lows to drop into the 30s as you're starting out to work or school in the morning. Then we're going to hit a high of 62 degrees and that's only the beginning. We will see more 60s. I'll have more in your forecast coming up. All right, buddy. We'll see you then. Nine people are dead after a tractor trailer crashed into a van in central Wisconsin on Friday. A two year old boy was the lone survivor. Kaylee Sterl has the details. A family from Virginia is rushing to Wisconsin to the side of a two year old boy who is the sole survivor of a deadly crash that killed nine in Clark County, Wisconsin on Friday morning. We were actually on our way to, uh, to Wisconsin to pick up their two year old my grandson, he was the only survivor, and surprisingly, he was not harmed. There was no burns. Um, uh, he's, he's missing his mom, which is, uh, you can imagine, just a hard bet. That's, that's going to be. And we now know the names of some of those victims. Ellen says those killed in the van include 23-year-old Orla Schrock, his wife Ellen, and their six-month-old daughter, Judy Rose. Orla's sister, 21-year-old Delilah Schrock, also died. Those are all of the names we can share right now as we want to make sure family is notified before we mention names here on the news. However, the ex-wife of the person who was driving the van also talked with me. She told me the man often offers trips for Amish people. Your heart sinks, you know, you just don't know how to act or, you know, you don't know how to take it or if anybody or if he, you know, or if any of them suffered before they died, you know. We are also working to learn more about the driver of that semi-trailer who was killed. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. The major party candidates from four years ago had all but clinched the nomination once again, heading into Super Tuesday. But there was still plenty to break down from the numbers this last week. UW lacrosse political science professor Anthony Chergoski appeared on this week's edition of For the Record to explain how Super Tuesday results show vulnerabilities in both leading candidates. For President Joe Biden, the votes of uncommitted in some states as primaries were the highlight. There are some people who are not voting for Joe Biden. They're voting uncommitted. We saw quite a bit of those votes in Minnesota. The Biden campaign is going to need to get those folks back in the fold. For former President Donald Trump, Dr. Chagoski noted the demographics which supported Nikki Haley the most. But still, she did pretty darn well in a number of key geographic locations, most notably suburbs more affluent areas, more highly educated areas, those areas with a higher concentration of people who had attended college. The statewide primary election in Wisconsin is Tuesday, April 2nd. 
to Gaza now, where more humanitarian aid was airdropped today. The U.S. Air Force jet dropped 16 bundles of food and water. It's the latest of a series of airdrops of humanitarian aid by the U.S., Jordan, and other nations. This comes as the risk of famine in the Gaza Strip increases and as prospects for a ceasefire before the holy period of Ramadan look unlikely. The politics of that war are taking center stage in the U.S. presidential election. As we're getting a preview of what the general election will look like, CBS's Christian Benavides reports. As the U.S. continues its humanitarian airdrops of supplies in Gaza, the Israel-Hamas war remains a top campaign issue. Former President Donald Trump at a rally in Georgia Saturday. When you think of it, inflation wouldn't have happened. The attack on Israel wouldn't have happened. Biden held a dueling rally in Georgia Saturday, a preview of what is shaping up to be one of the longest general election campaigns in recent memory. Today, pressure over the Israel-Hamas war continued to mount for Biden. Year after year, we have provided billions of dollars in military aid to the government of Israel. Well, you can say to Netanyahu, stop the slaughter. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who is supporting Biden in November, said something needs to change. We are looking at the possibility of hundreds of thousands of children starving to death. The United States of America cannot be complicit in this mass slaughter of children. Biden has been more critical of Israel's assault on Gaza in recent weeks, including at his State of the Union address Thursday. Israel also has a fundamental responsibility, though, to protect innocent civilians in Gaza. <clears throat> In Minnesota, 19% of Democrats voted uncommitted to send a message to the Biden administration over the war. Christian Benavides, CBS News. President Biden recently remarked that Israel's assault on Gaza is hurting Israel more than helping, to which Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu replied, quote, wrong. On to another key issue this campaign, abortion. According to the KFF poll, one in eight voters say abortion is the most important issue driving their vote. Of those, a majority of them believe it should be legal in all or most cases. When it comes to the candidates, 38% of voters say they trust President Biden more to move abortion in the direction they want, compared to 29% who trust former President Trump more. Still, more than 20% of voters don't trust either candidate on the issue. A 101-year-old 100, a Florida woman who went viral on TikTok after protesting book bans was headed to the Oscars, which took place just tonight. Angela Rozier reports on Grace Lynn's journey. I'm here to pro protest our school's district book banning policy. That's Grace Lynn. My husband, Robert Nickel, was killed in action in World War II. The 101-year young Jensen Beach resident says her husband died during World War II while defending democracy, the Constitution, and our freedoms. The freedom to read, which is protected by the First Amendment, is our essential right and duty of our democracy. She displayed this quilt at the meeting. It shows a bookshelf filled with banned books. She designed it with the help of friends Michael and Claire Pinella. It's hanging up inside her home. You can see how I changed the fonts for each one. I didn't have the real books, but it made him look unique. The retired hospital administrator and avid reader says some of the authors of banned books have reached out. She also says she had no idea that Martin County School Board video would show up on TikTok. I went to the bank and my banking friends came out and said, you hit TikTok a million and half times. And then they showed me all the positive answers that were given. So I knew I was on the right track. A documentary crew also saw the video. Months later, a film called The ABC of Book Banning was made featuring Lynn. It's nominated for an Oscar, and this is the outfit she plans to wear. She left her home Friday afternoon, heading to California, where she will continue to share her passion. Yes, it's glamorous to be going to Hollywood. Yes, and the reason, more than any other reason, is that it will spread the word further, which we need to do. And coming up next at 10, today was the 8th annual Spring Fling Craft and Vendor Fair organized by Occupaws. Hear about the event and the cause. 
And if you're thinking about spring cleaning, don't go away as Consumer Reports tests out some popular cleaning products. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-priced deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. America, it's a 24-7 kind of place, and that's where Ford Escape comes in, the ultimate getaway vehicle. With available driver assist technologies like pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and bliss with cross-traffic alert to help you get away from it all, even when you're right in the middle of it. You got this with Ford Escape. Choose Flex Buy on Escape with 0% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,500 Flex Buy cash. See your Wisconsin Ford dealer. We really need to redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait until I get... Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSON's because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant roofing is guaranteed for life. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-HANSON's. Get it done. Two iconic rock bands. One night of history. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. Live on Cloud9 Tour. Saturday, May 25th. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. All the hits. All the history. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. For the first time ever. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. Together. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Routier. National reputation, hometown service. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. Tailored for your news the way you want it. With a customizable home page and faster page loads, download the Channel 3000 news app. Powered by News 3 Now. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Walter is about to fence with a junior champion. What's the first thing Walter should learn? How to wipe away his tears. Plus, lasso lessons with James Pickens Jr. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. People vacationing in South Florida expect large crowds and high temps, but maybe not this. Efforts are underway along Florida's Gulf Coast to rescue a beached sperm whale. Police in Venice, along with members of the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department, are helping wildlife crews assess the whale's condition. The sperm whale is beached on a sandbar off the coast of Venice. Police have closed off access to the beach area where the whale will remain until further notice. Today, the Occupy's Guide Dog Association held its eighth annual Spring Fling Craft and Vendor Fair. Over 60 different crafters, vendors, and artists were set up at Prairie View Middle School in Sun Prairie. The goods were predominantly home decorations, with most of them being, of course, dog-themed. That's because the organizer of this event, Occupaws, seeks to provide guide dogs free of charge to people in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Illinois who need them. This was an opportunity to, to get involved with doing good for the community and helping those who have visual impairments uh, have the assistance from a guide dog. There was food on hand along with a raffle which helped the organization raise more money for the cause. And now let's get a look at your first one forecast with Buddy Reeves. Buddy. Thanks so much, Jalen. Yeah, we had a beautiful day here across southern Wisconsin, and I'm wearing the gold tie, kind of like how Alex wears the frames that tells you what the weather is going to be for the next day or so. So let's get right into the three things you need to know. Warmer weather, the 60s are going to return for your Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We are going to see showers mid to late week, especially on Thursday and Thursday afternoon and evening. And then after those rain showers move out, we do have cooler temperatures on track. So let's dive right into future tracks. Starting out at midnight tonight, 32 degrees, relatively mild, not a cloud in the sky. So that's going to be good for your Monday morning as you're heading off to work or school. We're going to start out at around 28 degrees, but if you notice these winds that are out of the south, 
that is going to help fuel the uh, warmer temperatures that it's going to come Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And as we head on into your Monday afternoon, temperatures are going to be in the 60s. So it's definitely going to be a lot warmer than it's been over the past couple of days. And then as we head into your Monday night and Tuesday, we will see some over overcast. I'm sorry, we will see some broken clouds through the afternoon and overnight and then starting out at 46 degrees. That is actually a lot warmer than it's going to be tonight. So it's definitely going to feel more like spring as we head on into your Tuesday. Also with those warmer temperatures, we will see some wind gusts getting up into the 20 mile per hour range closer to get towards the lakes. It could be a little bit more than as we move into your Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning, 20 mile per hour wind gust then it could be a little bit more as you head towards the lake region. That is all out of here by Tuesday evening, but that's not the end of the wind. Wind will continue as we head on into the remainder of the week, but 10 day temperature trend. Our normal high for this time of year is 41 degrees. We are in the 60s for the first three days, and then we drop back down into the 50s, into the 40s, and then we get right back above average on your Wednesday. We are monitoring the drought situation across the Dells, Viroqua and Prairie du Chien. They are in a severe drought and taking a look at future track for that rain event. We're going to start this at 930 on your Wednesday. About in the morning on your Thursday, you could see some light rain around Dane County, especially around Madison. Then as your afternoon goes on, your lunch hour on Thursday could be a much of a washout. Um, so I wouldn't have any outdoor plans on that day. And then that system is out of here with maybe some showers left over. The Climate Prediction Center is showing an equal chance of precipitation across most of southern Wisconsin. You have to go a little bit further south to see that below average average precipitation. The CPC for your temperatures is actually below normal. So models are trending that we are going to turn a little bit colder as we head on into the middle to end of March. So we will continue to watch that here. Seven day forecast, very mild on Tuesday with the high of 66. That'll be our warmest over the next 10 days. And then we start to cool down by St. Patrick's Day. We are in the 40s and then spring actually starts on Tuesday at 1105. So that is when we officially move from winter into spring. So Jalen, yeah, the temperatures are going to go up and then they are going to go down. I know we'll enjoy the 60s for the next few days, but you had mentioned the wind and you know, we may be getting some gusts. Yep. I've been conditioned since I was in college that the wind doesn't exist. I had a coach, he was our offense coordinator. He was from West Texas and he used to be like, fellas, the air raid offense was was born in in West Texas. It was born in the uh, middle of a tornado, so the wind doesn't exist. So <laughs> to this day, whenever I hear you guys talk about the wind, my mind always goes back to that. It yep. doesn't exist, but I mean, when your garbage cans and stuff are out on the street, oh, yeah. then it definitely Go does. flying right down the street. All right, All right. sounds good. Thank Thanks. you, buddy. And the dark days of winter are, as Buddy mentioned, winding down. And as things brighten up, you may be noticing more dust, cobwebs, and other messes. The experts at Consumer Reports share some cleaning tips, tricks, and tools to get you ready for spring cleaning. Cleaners we tested clean. Jadira Rodriguez doesn't mess around when it comes to cleaning. She's a Consumer Reports writer who's tested glass cleaners, DIY cleaning hacks, steam cleaners, and more. Her best tip? You don't need a ton of products to get your house clean. Some basic things like a multi-purpose cleaner, a glass cleaner, a bathroom cleaner, and maybe something that's a disinfectant. Vinegar can be a great option if you don't want to spend money on a dedicated glass cleaner. But CR's tests found the spray away glass cleaner earned top marks. And it's also an economical choice because it also cleans chrome, tile, and porcelain. Vinegar or dish detergent can also help remove mild mold and buildup. And of course, there are tools you can buy to make some jobs easier and maybe even more fun, if that's your thing. CR recently tried the Bissell Steam Shot. The Bissell Steam Shot is so satisfying to use. It cleaned up my bathroom grout really, really well. If you don't need to deep clean, but you have lots of areas to cover, consider a power scrubber like this battery-powered Levine to keep things moving. To tackle the dust and cobwebs and all those hard-to-reach places, CR says turn to your vacuum's attachments for help, the crevice tool for tight spaces, and the upholstery tool to deep clean your couch. But the key is having a vacuum with adequate airflow. Consumer Reports tests for that and says this Kenmore delivers. Or consider a powerful hand vac like this Black & Decker, which comes with different attachment tools for cleaning edges and tight spaces. And one last cleaning tip from Jadira. Take it room by room. You can do your bathroom today, bedrooms tomorrow, closets the day after that. 
It's much easier to work in small groups that way. This is Teresa Hope. To cut down on paper towel waste and save some money, CR recommends microfiber cloths you can wash and reuse. And if you get them in different colors, you can assign each color to a specific room so you keep your bathroom germs away from your kitchen germs. And coming up in sports, a must win for Wisconsin men's hockey. See if the Badgers could beat the Buckeyes to advance in the Big Ten tournament. Next in sports with Andrew. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The Planet Fitness Black Card is packed with perks. Not like other gyms. Hi, can I bring my friend to work out? No. Well, um, is my membership good at other locations? No. 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 No? Yeah, no. No what? No. Okay. This is better. For just $1 down, you can bring a friend for free anytime. Work out at any of our 2,500 plus locations and enjoy access to the Black Card Spa. The Planet Fitness Black Card. Join now for $1 down, $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, March 15th. Kelly needs new floors, so she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Step one, find the material that works for you. Had to be houndproof. Step two, browse your style and your budget. Blonde wood, naturally. Step three, pick the right floor at the right price. Step four, I mean floor, enjoy. LL Flooring, every step covered. Save up to 25% today at the Spring Black Friday sale at LL Flooring. Do you feel like America is slipping away? Our country is facing enormous challenges. Our economy, our health care, crime, and open borders. Everything is going in the wrong direction. All Washington does is divide us and talk about who's to blame. And nothing gets done. That's not the country I know and love. I'm Eric Covdy. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. And I approve this message because I believe we need to come together and find common sense solutions to restore America. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. No fault of their own during the cold, thousands of Wisconsin residents in your community make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. On March 13th, please join News 3 Now and support a day of warmth, benefiting the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. 95 cents of every dollar donated is used to help those in crisis give the gift of warmth. For more information, visit kwwf.org slash donate. A day of warmth, sponsored by Viridian Homes and Melio Sandwiches. For all the ups and downs Wisconsin men's basketball has been through this year, and there's been some ups and downs, they could still get a double bye in the Big Ten tournament with a win today. It's their final game of the regular season. The only problem, they'd have to go through Purdue. Badgers lost to the Boilermakers at home earlier this year, but trying to turn the tides. First half, Wisconsin down 13, and we're 1 for 10 from 3 at this point. But how about A.J. Storr cannon home the 3 to cut the deficit to 10? He scored 17 tonight his 26 game in double figures and then 10 minutes left in the contest second half John Blackwell how good has this freshman been this year scored 17 his last time out finished with the team best 18 today as he claps home the three Badgers trying to keep this one close but at the end of the day Zach Eady and the Boilermakers were just too much for Bucky the seven foot four reigning national player of the year had 25 points and 14 rebounds and the basket falls the Badgers 
Rutgers miss out on the double bye and will get the five seed in the Big Ten tournament. They'll play on Thursday facing the winner of both Maryland and Rutgers. Daylight savings time does not apply to Damian Lillard. A combined 69 points and 21 assists for Damian Giannis tonight. The first duo in NBA history with 20 plus points and 10 plus assists in back to back games. And Dame was just getting started. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Bucks up three. And at this point, Lillard is just unconscious, carrying the Bucks on his back. How about that? And then under two minutes to go, Dame looking for the dagger. And I mean, come on, gets the handoff from Giannis, puts it in the bottom of the barrel 16 of his 35 points scored in the fourth quarter as the Bucks beat the Clippers 124 to 117 and the boys state basketball bracket has been released here's where our trio of teams landed mineral point got the two seed and will play Aquinas on Thursday while Lakeside Lutheran also got that two seed they'll play Keel as for abundant life Christian they will play Almond Bancroft that'll be on Friday though Wisconsin men's hockey has done things this year that no one thought they'd come close to, but the Badgers were on the ropes today in the Big Ten tournament, needing a win to advance, hosting seventh seed at Ohio State, and it would be the Buckeyes getting on the board first. Davis Burnside finds the twine, and the Badgers have some work to do in this one. Need to get something going to keep your tournament Playoff hopes alive, but later, third period, Badgers trailing 3-0. They get a goal to go to avoid the shutout, but ultimately are eliminated from the Big Ten tournament. Losing 3-1, Bucky will certainly look to bounce back in the national tournament. To the wrestling mat, Dean Hamity looking to defend his Big Ten Conference title and was up big early. This takedown in the second would put him up 9-2. to two. You'd think he'd be pretty safe at that point, but in a shocker, Mitchell Messenbrink from Penn State, a freshman, comes back and beats Hamity, who will certainly be looking to bring his A game to the NCAA Wrestling Championships. And Jerry Kelly trying to win his own event. He's the host at the Cola Guard Classic down in Tucson. On 17, he's chasing a pair of strokes sitting right behind the leader a beautiful first shot but he'd par on 17 losing a chance to win the whole shebang he'd finish 11 back tied for second place Whew. another busy sports day another busy sports weekend but honestly you need some water your mouth i would take water but honestly you know more than anything that's kind of the fun of march i think they say you can sleep in april you know we, we continue this sprint we grab some water we stay hydrated and we keep watching the best sports month in the entire calendar, if you ask me. It's not mm, biased. The I, best one? Okay. I'd say it's the best. My birthday it. is also on Tuesday, ah. so I got a little bit of, you know, a little bit riding on that. But I would say March is probably my favorite sports month. March Madness to me, I wouldn't say college basketball is my favorite sport, but March Madness is kind of unbeaten in my mind. For me, I have to go December, January issue. You have yeah. the NFL, you still have college football, you have college basketball and the NBA. You know some of the most major sports that we have around so that's why i'd roll with the, one of those for sure not to mention the brewers are just about to get started march 28th is their first game of the year that's right. really right around the corner all right, sounds good thank you andrew we'll be back with more after this spectrum internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide so there's never been a better time to switch to spectrum now get spectrum internet for 49.99 a month Plus, advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. Here's California banker Eric Hovde running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California, CEO of a billion dollar bank. Here's Hubdi's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hubdi was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hubdi. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. 
This is Ford Truck Month. With amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks, make way for the event that only comes around once a year, featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. Get ready and get to Ford Truck Month. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 with 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 2,000 Flex Buy and 1,000 open trade assist cash at your Wisconsin Ford dealer. Hansons knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 60% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, you may be eligible to get extra benefits with iCare's dual eligible special needs plans. Our members get $1,800 per year with a card that's loaded monthly to pay for items such as eligible groceries, over-the-counter items, rent, and utilities. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Blending recipes and memories to do something good. Monday at 6. Before we kick things over to Buddy for final weather, I want to talk about Dame and the Bucks right yeah. now. Giannis talked about how this is Dame's team. Kind of hard to say when he is still like a top five player in the NBA. But right. Tonight really showed off Dame's greatness. Yeah, sure. it truly did. The pair combined for 69 points and 21 rebounds. It's a guy that Giannis has really never had. A mm -hmm. sidekick that he's never had in the sense that it's a guy that can go out and get his own. Dame Lillard continues to do that. It continues to show why there was so much excitement in breaking everything down, getting rid of Drew Holiday, mm -hmm. and bringing in a top 75 player of all time like Dame Lillard. For sure. All right, we got a warm up on the horizon. Yep, warm up in the 60s, and then it will fall into the 50s, and then by your St. Patrick's Day, 44 degrees. Spring is on Tuesday of the following week. It's at high of 42 degrees. Spring is already here, but we're definitely looking forward to it, and thank you all for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And as always, thank you for making it a great evening.